Hello, viewers. This is Sri here from Sri Learning. We will talk about PMP success. I have a great success story today here. Why it is a great success story? We have someone very special, and she's from Indian Air Force Senior Project Manager. Ooh, sounds positive. Great. <laughs> she cleared PMP recently. That is on October 19th, a day before. So she's excited, happy. First, let's wish her congratulations, Neha. Thank you so much, Shriram. That's great, great to know. Happy to see people from uh, service, uh, specifically from Indian Air Force, Indian Army, and uh, they have a good record of being good in leadership and management in their career for a long time because their role is uh, working with the people in a disciplined way. How it comes to a certification or uh, studies, yes, it's going to be challenging because... Uh, we may be in one segment called uh, Indian Air Force or a military or army. But when it comes to management studies, it's going to go a little more broader because it talks a lot about corporate all over the world. Yeah, it's a two different world, isn't it? Uh, before I go and listen to that, uh, how it was your preparation and why you came here, I want to listen some uh, little background about you. What do you do and why you thought PMP? I'm from the Indian Air Force, as as rightly brought out by you. I'm a senior project manager in the Indian Air Force. I have served in the Air Force for three and a, 13 and a half years, and I'll be completing my 14 years by December. And I'm exiting from the service. So basically, this is my transition from the Air Force to the uh, corporate. So I want to, um, since my domain is project management and the kind of work culture we have in the Air Force is completely different from the work culture that the corporates have. So I want to wanted to get into the, uh, the actuals of the corporate, wanted to know or wanted to have a hang of the corporate. So wanted to study project yeah. management. And a lot of my seniors, they yeah. have also recommended this course and they had told me that this is going to be a tough business <laughs> okay so yeah. i yeah. had taken a plunge and okay. it was definitely i mean three months it was completely i mean a roller coaster right a lot of emotions great determination yeah true true so much have gone true. into it so a lot of theory mind. <laughs> of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good nice to know neha that's really good to hear from you um, why I ask a specific question is uh, there are people here who are preparing for PMP and uh, sometimes they think that, okay, it's more toughest exam. I will not go for it. That's one thought people get away. There are some people take it, but they keep dragging. Let me do it. Let me do it. It'll take three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, keep going. So uh, I want to get some info from you as a viewer when you prepare for the examination, how you kept this consistency towards the exam? I, the mantra for me is, you. as for me, after giving the exam, is fix a date. And mm -hmm. then, um, you know, monitor your progress accordingly. Mm -hmm. And then start working towards it. So if you will not fix a date, you will keep dragging it. You will keep thinking, okay, I have one complete year. Pay the fees and fix a date. <laughs> okay. that is, and as you said, you know, initially yeah. you would run away from it. I knew that this is going to be a tricky business, this yeah. course. But even I thought of why to do it is not required. You know, like I, I was telling myself, I was convincing myself, but then I finally thought, okay, now this is a transition time. I should put in some hard work. Right. So that's how. I like that point. Pay the money. The moment you pay the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the money, when your money is at stake, then you are like, okay, now I have to do it. No escape, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And all right. It's a, it's a expensive business, you know. <laughs> True. That makes her to come up with this certificate. Okay. Uh, tell me the joy you got while you saw the certificate in your email. Of course, you are from Indian Air Force. You are done many things in your life. But still, did you have a joy when you saw the certificate? Oh, I'm immensely delightful I was when I saw this. I could not believe I, I read it so many times, Neha Rabat. <laughs> Neha Rabat. I read it so many times. So immensely happy I was. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, right. I, I understand that feel uh, because uh, I keep hearing people who have many certificates with them, uh, however number of certificates they have. But when we get a certificate like this, which is internationally recognized, which it definitely takes some effort to clear. Um, I, I won't say it's too tough. I won't say it's too easy. It stands somewhere in the middle. Uh, when we clear a certificate, it gives a sense of accomplishment, a sense of joy, uh, because we are in the middle age by this time, right? 30s and 40s. And uh, uh, we want some push in our life. Okay, I can do something more. This will help us to grow in our corporate, switch the job, domain. Yeah, all happens. Great to know. Great to know. Now, the question from the viewers watching here, um, how long it took for you to clear the examination? I mean, I say how long you could have started the class sometime. But the yeah. push, there could be a push. You would have said, okay, next three weeks, next four weeks, something like this would have happened. So how long this preparation took for you? Started it in July. I mean, the preparation part of it, I started. And then towards the first week of October, I have decided, okay, 19th October is going to be my date. One of my colleagues, he had come to me. He had just given the exam. And he told me, ma'am, just give, give the exam. You know, your, he sat with me and he asked a few questions with, to me. And I answered those questions. So I was very, he said, no, no, it is, the answer is not this. I said, no, I'm 100% sure the answer is this. With my grit and determination, whatever he said, he said, ma'am, you're completely prepared. Just go for it. Book the exam and go for it. And don't get into this uh, um, festivity mode. Because once you get into festivity <laughs> mode, you will get everything. You won't come and on. That's what I <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I did. That's nice. That's nice. So that's a time in my hearing from you. Uh, one thing I observed with the people from Indian Air Force and uh, service coming in, why I say this is we get many people from Indian Air Force and other uh, segments of service. And we have a good record of people from Indian Air Force. They read well. They clear the exam quicker and smarter. The reason could be is the way of life, what they have grown up. Um, however, it is when you practice these questions, uh, uh, some of these questions may not be your real life because you could have worked in a different structure in your in your service, isn't it? Uh, because these questions are being picked up based off US or Asia or Africa, some of the real corporates which you may not see in that model. Now, did you face some challenge in understanding these questions? Yeah, uh, you know, ask the kind of setup we have in the fossils, it is completely predictive and it is autocratic. Mm -hmm. If work has to be done, I will tell my people, you have to do it. I have always worked like that. <laughs> and now, when you are getting agile, <laughs> it's fine. servant leader, yeah. you know? oh my God. So, you know, it took me some time to analyze things that, okay, I have to speak to my team. I've right. never spoken to my team. And the same thing my bosses also did. They told me this is to be done. And I have reciprocated the same thing down below. Okay. So we've never spoken to the team. Now here, the setup was completely different. So, mm. you know, you have to forget everything. You have to unlearn whatever you have learned in 13 and a half years. You have to unlearn and then switch into this kind of a setup. So it was <laughs> un uneasy initially. But yeah, yeah, after reading. Yeah. I specifically asked this question because most of the management model came from uh, some of the military operations and some of from uh, industries. Now, as you rightly put the word servant leadership, uh, okay, you read in the book, you answered the question. Do you see this can be there applied in the place where you are now? Some of the portion of this servant leadership? Um, basically, uh, in the forces? Yeah. Um, awesome. Tough and question. It depends, actually. It depends, actually. <laughs> it depends, yeah. Um, the, the requirement from our service is such that uh, there is one decision which has to be followed down below. Mm -hmm. So, okay. the setup is like that and the requirement is such that you cannot have this, you cannot ask from your people. Okay. So, whatever decision, <laughs> right or wrong, uh, we go Do into it. the form Whatever decision it is, right or wrong, you just have to follow it. There should be only one command. But however, here the setup is different. Okay, I understand. Just do it. Huh? That's how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. All right. Thanks for those uh, comments and inputs. Uh, we were watching this video. Uh, I don't want to say only in Indian Air Force or the military or service, it's like this because I do take classes for people from the US uh, military. Uh, they do have the same feel that uh, there is one command, you have to go for it. 
it is not only the service, right? In some corporates also, we have the same model, right? Uh, but rightly, she mentioned, I have to unlearn certain things, unlearn. I believe that's the right terminology for this whole video. Unlearn, unlearn certain things which can help you to get fit into current world where the corporate is looking for. Yeah, that's a good point. Super Neha. So now a uh, question from all the viewers. Um, while you practice these questions, uh, did you have any tips to tell how to look at these questions so that you can improve your scores? Because score is the one big problem for many people. Hey, my score is not going high or I'm not happy with the score what I'm getting. So you have any tips? You would have observed the last 10 days. You would have not done three months, okay? Last 10 days, something would have clicked. Oh, this is how I have to read the question. You have any points on that? Uh, first one is elimination method as was brought out by your by, in your videos also. I could not, uh, you know, appreciate it at that very moment. But when I have applied it, you will get four options in the exam. Straight away, two options would be such stupid options that you would not even <laughs> open. You just have to read through it and you would realize these two options are, you just have to discard these two. Okay. And now you are the other two. So uh, towards the end, I started focus, uh, started reading and focusing on a lot of YouTube. There are a lot of YouTube videos also, which talks about agile mindset. Keep, uh, uh, keep uh, hearing those mindsets, agile mindsets and predictive mindsets. So you will get the answer. And of course, the hard work and the study that you have done in the past, it will come, it would come to your help. Got you, got you. So if the answer here is the basement of study is important first, understand the concepts clearly. Listen, a lot of videos and recordings could be from any videos, you get the information. So you, you first the basement is knowledge. And then you go for a elimination technique where as you rightly point out four or six choices, you have some choices straight away gone, right? Uh, we keep saying in this classes that elimination, uh, elimination will happen only when you know the subject, right? If not, you can't exactly. eliminate it. You if should you do not have knowledge, you, cannot, you will not be able to eliminate those two straight away. Exactly. Uh, That's the right options. point. Because there are some believe that I will not read the book. Let me practice a thousand five hundred questions. Then I will clear the exam. Uh, it could happen as a miracle, but uh, reading will help you smooth get to the exam. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a good point. That's a good point. Now, uh, some credits to your family. So you preparing this, being in uh, Indian Air Force, a senior manager, that itself eats a lot of time, a uh, lot of energy. I'm sure there should be some full backup for you from your family, isn't it? Uh, for the job. On top of that, now exam preparation. Yeah. So who's um, No, I, I, of course, I'm a married <laughs> woman. I, I, I have a six-year-old boy. <laughs> so my son, you know, he always wants his mom and my husband is there. So yeah. right now, although as a uh, right now, I'm pursuing my business administration from uh, AMCAL. Mm -hmm. So my son and my husband are back home. Amazing. He's working in Air Force. Um, but uh, he has always been a support, always in these so many years. That's so and they, because of my studies and my commitment towards this side, they have suffered a lot. And they kept on supporting me. And not only my husband, my in-laws also, since they are taking care of my child. So you need to have a good support system in the house and only you'll be able to concentrate on whatever you're doing. Perfect. So I have, I am lucky enough to have that support system. Perfect. That, that's, that's a good thing. Credit to him as well, the family, also your son. Uh, because uh, kid keep watching the mom get inspired, isn't it? And so they Every watch... time you used to come, he said, just close the books. <laughs> are you he used to say, are you now? His name is Navayan. She says, are you Navayan? Why are you studying? You have a job. So he's not able to understand why am I studying. Uh, he, I'm sure he would be inspired as he grows, uh, listen, or her. Great to know. Great to know. Good to know. So the credit goes to the family there who supported there. And again, uh, one other ask from the people on the exam. Did you, were you able to, time management was good for you. It's a four hours examination, 230 minutes. And we have 180 questions which is divided into three segments. Uh, usually I heard the first 60 questions, people feel it eats a lot of time. Uh, how was it for you? I have planned it. I knew I have seen a lot of videos, a lot of people sharing their experiences. So I have made it very clear that in my first segment, I'm not going to stretch it. Yeah. 
so i have made it a plan that when i hit my first section i should be i should not spend more than 18 minutes but mm. i uh, it was 76 minutes that i have used in my first section so okay. i kind of did well in my first section however in the second section i took a little more time i took around 85 minutes hmm. and in the third section i was left with around 70 minutes for the questions okay so and once i was finished with my exam i was left with 30 seconds so i oh. would say I made, but i i i skipped one numerical now this was towards the last section and i was left with around 29 questions and uh, around 27 minutes Mm. So I analyzed this as a risk. So I eliminated it. Okay. Is it I, avoided, I avoided this risk and moved further. I made a blind guess and moved for, for, okay. forward. So you learned but PMP. I, Very well. Yeah. PMP, we have something, uh, uh, avoid risk. You, well, you applied that strategy. <laughs> I smartly avoided this risk. <laughs> And yes, had I had that question, no, I would have wasted my two, three minutes okay. and in the bargain, I would have lost some three, four questions. Oh, yeah. So I thought yeah. as well, I should. Uh, that's that's a it. that's a good call because uh, people have to decide what to do. You cannot pull everything on you if can you cannot. Yeah, that's a point. Uh, now you took this exam in which city? Uh, Calcutta. Calcutta, you took it and it's a center-based exam. And uh, you took break in between every 60 questions. Yeah. Good. Nice. 10 minutes break, I do. Okay. Uh, you, you feel the break is important or people can skip the break and keep moving? Actually, it depends. For me, it was very important because my mind was completely exhausted after 60 questions. And when I was um, in my 50 to 55th question, I was just looking at the um, um at the time and I was looking at the number of questions left because I really, my body needed it. My mind needed it. Yeah, so yeah. I think it isn't for me. It was important. There are a lot of people, those who some of my friends, they say they did not take the break because they were in the flow and they did not want to do break yeah, the flow. It, it'll be exhaustive. Oh. I keep recommending people when PMI gives a break, which is optional, and uh, it is a free. It doesn't include in your overall time. I would say go for it, and also have some chocolates to eat in the break. Uh, it's not a, for fun. Chocolate gives some sort of energy for your brain and uh, blood. Uh, it is Caffeine. needed. Yeah, 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 it's it's needed, isn't it? Uh, you you need some refreshment. Walk for a few minutes and come back. You feel relieved. Yeah, that's pretty important. Nice to know. Important question here from viewers watching. Uh, people take this exam, and from September twenty five, the rule has been changed. Results will not be flashed immediately. So you know that the results not going to come. Okay. Uh, did you had that a thrill waiting for hours? I was anxious, anxiety. See, I once I finished my exam, it was 2.30 in the afternoon. And I was like, I would say 99% sure that I have we made it. Okay. Yeah, I, I have cleared it. But you know, till the time, you don't see it in black and white. You don't see it flashing on in front of you. You did not. And I did not say it to anyone. I did not tell it to anyone also. Because oh. I... I one <laughs> percent. Yeah, 1%. If it doesn't happen, then what? So I kept a secret. And I was on pro one of my colleagues. He said, you will get the result in four to five hours. Mm -hmm. So he got the result at 9.30 in the night. So mm -hmm. I was on pro. I kept on tossing here and there. I was so anxious. I kept, <laughs> my phone was in my hand. I I slept at 12.30 with the phone. The email. Yeah, I was looking into the mail. Why this mail is not coming? And then I slept at 12.30 and I kept, I mean, you know, I was not able to sleep. Oh, and at 4.30 4 in the morning, I got this mail and I, I checked it at 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. And I, First of all, I gave it to my husband and he was like, oh, why are you calling me up so early in the morning? And then I cleared him. <laughs> why are you sleeping I, I, then? I cleared the exam. <laughs> Come no, on, check no, no, up. <laughs> I called up my sisters, those to okay. whom I have shared what is happening in nice. my life in this day. Nice. So, it's a I joy. Mean, I know it's a, yeah. it's a celebration, you know. I have seen people yeah. celebrate it, get some chocolate sweets. Uh, for uh -huh. the other for other person family sometimes they don't realize it's another exam yeah but the process which we went through for three months and when you see a result like that you feel a joy that only a person cleared will know that <laughs> others yeah. 
Tough. Those who yeah. have gone through it can only understand what it is. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Pleasant joy. Exactly. That's that's a valuable point. So so point is your exam and the result it took uh, six hours or eight hours. No no no. I I finished my exam at two thirty and in the afternoon and I got the result next day morning at four thirty in so the morning. Hours. So ten or uh, fourteen hours it took. Okay, fourteen hours. Uh, you right. my colleagues they have got it in five to six hours. Six hours. Yeah, it's keep. Uh, I don't yeah. know how it's working. You. Uh, but in my case, mm -hmm. it, they did not send me in six hours. Okay, it, it looked like things changing. Uh, but for people, we was watching here, uh, they call us a data forensic. Once the exam gets over, they are validating all your exam writing pattern. They're using some intelligence uh, to check any fake system is happening because uh, some of the fake happened a few year back, month back. So they're avoiding it. So making the results very authentic. So when a person has a PMP, it's a most valuable certificate in the world. So you hold it proud because you worked hard. That should not be a fake having a certificate, right? That looks bad. So, so Neha from uh, Indian Air Force, a senior project manager, can proudly tell, I hold this great certificate. Yeah? I earned, I earned it. <laughs> you earned it. Earned it. Great enough. Good, uh, Neha. Nice to know this. And uh, first, I want to thank you for coming up here uh, because I want your story to inspire more people, men and women. Uh, I keep hearing people say that I'm very busy, I have office, I have children, I have this, 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 this. So when I hear Neha being in Indian Air Force, I'm sure you know what the service there, right? Pretty packed service. Yes, sir, I will do it. That's a service. <laughs> it's not a service where you can tell I'm not available from Monday to Friday. Don't disturb me. No, it's a service. You have to be there. On top of that, she's a mom and uh, she's busy and she's doing IAM and she's doing this PMP. So I want to give a credit and uh, good wishes, Neha. Great job from you. Great. Thank you. Uh, now, if you want to give some tips to men and women who is watching this video, what they can do so that they can be focused and clear the exam. Uh, first of all, explore the um, the ways wherein which uh, which influences your uh, uh, practice towards the exam. Maybe some people are more comfortable with reading books. Some are more comfortable through uh, watching videos or listening to the lectures. So you'll have to explore uh, what is more suitable for you. But I would say amalgamation of all these three activities would, would fetch you a better result. First you, first, you build up your knowledge and then subsequently explore the other options as well. Then subsequently get into to mocks uh, once you have completed your uh, exam as uh, we have in Sri Learning we have good communication board which is I would say a gold mine start practicing in the, um, the cha in the chapters uh, each chapter wise uh, mocks and then subsequently switch over to 60 questions 40 questions and then full mock I would say 3 to 4 full mocks would fetch you a good result mm. That's a bad And idea. before going to the exam, before going to the exam, it is very important to go to the exam with a relaxed mindset. I would recommend, I would suggest each one of you who is going for the exam, a day prior to the exam, do not study. Study as much as you can, can burn your midnight oil, whatever you want to do, do but not a day prior to the exam. Because, you know, in our traditional setup, we have given a lot of exams and we keep burning the midnight oil and next day we go to the examination hall, mug it up and we score with good. But this exam is not going to fetch you results if you have done this particular mistake a day prior. So do not study a day prior. At all, if you want to study, study till the initial half of the day and uh, relax in the later half. Take proper sleep and go to the exam with the relaxed mindset. You will definitely clear it. That's but great. yeah, you need to have, you need to put in the best efforts in great. terms of your heart. Great, 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 Neha. Really, I appreciate the point. Uh, thanks for pointing it out because uh, people going through this exam go through some stress. And uh, in fact, I want to ask this question. Uh, did this exam preparation disturb your food, sleep and exercise habits? Don't talk about it. I have been suffering. You know, I've shared it with you with my open heart how much I'm suffering. I'm so fond of, you know, so many outdoor activities I'm so fond of doing. But I have to, you know, 
cut off with everything and I have to sit back home and you know study burn my midnight oil I have had a lot of sleepless nights a lot of breakdowns in between <laughs> but yeah finally yeah. finally this is it so I really appreciate the point what you said we was watching this what she said is absolutely right don't add stress before the exam day be a little relaxed I know you can't be relaxed because you paid five hundred dollars it's not money all the time. It's about your prestige. It's about uh, the value. You don't want to fail in front of your spouse or in front of your children. You want to keep up that, but still what she said is absolutely right. Uh, when you're relaxed, you make a good decision. That's what PMP exam. PMP exam is all about decision making. Only a relaxed mind makes a better decision. I think that's what they asked. Yeah. Perfect. Great, great. Super. Uh, Neha from uh, Indian Air Force, a senior project manager much inspiring to listen from you about your reading preparation and stay focused on the examination and uh, you be very clear the day before itself what it is so that you go relax to the exam hall do well and after the exam results are not coming immediately you have to wait few hours that i'm sure everyone has to go through that right now and maybe a few months later things could change but for now, once the exam is done, keep checking email. That's what's going to happen. But that's also good excitement. You know, those four hours are very strenuous. But then though it continues, you know, the anxiety keeps building up. Till the time you don't see the exam. You, <laughs> till the time you don't see the result. So it is, I would suggest it is not a four hours exam. Till the time you don't get the result, it is, you know, you keep analyzing those questions in your mind. Okay, <laughs> that question was this, that way. Okay, I answered it this way. So you you have to, your mind is completely occupied at the time you don't see it in black and God white. Sake. God, it's, it's something like in school and college days, after proposing your uh, partner, you keep thinking, man, what will happen? <laughs> then accept, reject, complain to your parents. <laughs> What's my husband used to talk, you know, my husband used to say, what do you keep thinking? There is something that is going on in your mind, which you are not telling me, which you are not sharing with me. There is something wrong. Huh? I, <laughs> I, I, thought, I stopped answering him because only PMP was there, which was going on in my head. And I, every now and then, I don't want to discuss because he's like, why are you taking it so much to heart? But <laughs> only the person who's preparing it can understand that yeah. how emotionally attached you are towards this. I don't know professional gain, but yeah, personally, it uh, it has elevated my confidence. Perfect. I think that's a gain. Um, I have seen people clear the examination. It is not about immediately getting a job or a salary hike, but it gives that confidence. It adds some value. It shows that I can do more in my life. That's what it is. Fantastic. Once again, thanks a lot, Neha Rawat from uh, Indian Air Force, who did a good job inspiring us. And thanks for giving this wonderful success tips. Keep rocking. Thank you so much.